there's not enough uh, being done to protect people like myself, vulnerable girls. When you have plastic surgery, um, when you sit into the surgeon's office, you're vulnerable to start with because if you're really happy with yourself, you wouldn't be there in the first place. So how can you discourage people from having surgery so young? Um, I think it should be at least 21, first of all. I think the rules should be a lot more vigilant. I think the calling off period is um, a, a really positive step forward. Um, and also the aftercare just isn't there and the before care, I mean, it's not, you, they don't explain it enough beforehand, like the implications of surgery, what can go wrong and that it's a commitment for your life. Why is it a commitment for life? But first of all, implants, they don't last forever. You have to have them changed. And also if you change one thing on your face, your face it's all uh, symmetry. So if you've changed one thing, then you need something else done and, and it's just, it's a, train that you get on that keeps going and going you can't it's very hard to kind of I know in my case I was the extreme and not everyone's like me but I have friends as well and you know a lot of people in the same situation as me and I think in years to come we're gonna find lots and lots of people like me mm. 